Hello everybody, I'm Major Monotone. It's been a while and I, I, I think he's covered in dust and also dead. <laughs> so uh, I'll be doing this by myself then. Uh... Oh my god, chocolate, yes! Oh, what? okay, he's back. Oh, I think I just spiked my audio. There's lots of action and puzzles to solve in L kids' land. Lots of action but only one puzzle. Yeah, there's all... There's actually only one puzzle, and they use it twice, so oh, that, that's that, accurate. That, like, um, what's it called? Like, those things where it's, like, first, second, third place, and you were just on one? It was made out of cake. Yes. What are those things called? What things? Like, when you have first, second, third place, and, like, people stand on different levels. I don't know. They're, like, a pedestal? I guess. Thing? There has to be, like, a proper name for them. Yeah, probably, but who cares. Anyway, this level sucks, and we're gonna find out why later. It looks great. Oh, we're in Mario Land now. Mario World. I, I don't wish know. we were in Mario World. I don't know anything about Mario games, because I just called this Mario Land. <laughs> well, that's, that's a Mario game. That's yeah, but, but that's, like, that looks like, well, that Super Mario Brothers is the right name. That's what I meant to say. Anyway, the, oh. one of the big problems about Kids Land is that it has a lot of completely hidden areas like this. Wait, kids, that... hate, kids hate crackers, though. These are wafers. Oh, well, st I don't know. Those look like those crappy crackers that are like like saltines that old people eat. I like saltines. And you're an old person. Oh, okay. You're you're like um, my grandma. I, I should probably talk about the video game at some point. <laughs> no way. So why would we do the, that? There's a lot of hidden crowns. They're very annoying. Um, let's see. Those giant wafers. They have a target in front of them. If you hit them with a bunch of the Choco Kid enemies, they'll move back. If you bump into them, they'll actually hurt you and knock you down, so, uh, yeah. I love the textures in this place. Like, I love that the ceiling has a different texture than the floor and everything else. Yeah. So this is one of the more annoying crowns. What you have to do is you have to spin around a certain way to get six of those guys to appear. Are Let's they see, enemies? Are, are they enemies, no. or are they just... They're enemies. Okay. Can they we hurt you? We have to you? get all six of them to appear. There we go, and then we have to kill them. Wait, so could you not kill them before? Well, I could. I, I can't kill them when they're invisible. They were. They were. Oh, okay. So, l like, let's say you made four appear and kill them, and then made the other. Yeah, two. that that would be fine. But oh, I just okay. want to do them all at once. Fair enough. This is another gimmick of this level is uh, platform mazes. Made out of those like peanut butter chocolate squares. Yeah, which are delicious. Yeah, I want but some now. With this, you pretty much have to guess, and I guessed poorly. So. It's like that one dungeon in Link of the Past, like right at the end with the platforms that don't do what you want. Only now it's oh, in 3D. Th the one in the swamp, or no, the like the la I think the last one, Turtle Rock. Oh yeah, Turtle Rock. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Because I think the the Swamp Palace has that. No, not the Swamp Palace. The one in the Lost Woods. That's the swamp in the Dark World. That one is confusing, but I don't think it had confusing platforms. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's two crowns in this room. There's nothing to talk about in this room. Oh, now now there's... we're now we're in one two of Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. Because the bricks are blue. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, I got that. It's okay. I think the arrows are telling you where to go. They are. Well, okay. I let's like see. how that looks like water, but it's just a dumb texture. Yeah. Are those anyway? Mushrooms? These are the oh. giant enemies here. They're. I have no idea what the fuck they are. They they look like dorky mushroom toys. They look kind of like Pez dispensers. Does Japan have Pez dispensers? I don't know. I'd assume so. Hmm. Oh, here here's the one puzzle in this uh, in this uh, entire level. But for now, we're gonna ignore it in favor of something else. In in favor of um, lots of action, was it? Yeah, action instead of puzzle. So, oh, this um, looks tricky. You it's already... not tricky, it's just dumb. Oh, I thought I thought you already missed it. No. That one we can't get yet. Okay. So, well, we, first we have to jump to this one. <coughs> now, it's impossible to jump back, and it might be possible to jump to that one, but I didn't, so I have to go all the way back up. Exciting. Because you can't get both of them at once. No, that would that would be convenient and fun. This is the Dark Souls of the Nintendo 64. Really? I, I thought Dark Souls was a Nintendo 64 game. It sure plays like one. Oh, oh shit! Shots fired. 
I've, I've never played Dark Souls. That's weird. When I use my mute button on my microphone, it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll have to edit out that clearing my throat, or I'll forget, and it'll just be in the video. Oh, well, that's okay. You can clear your throat as much as you like. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> anyway, here's the puzzle. There's a, there's a prism of light, and you have to go on it. And if you touch the floor or one that the prism of light isn't in it, the puzzle resets. I that did not look like like. That looked like a solid object. There's no reason you should be able to phase through it. I thought you could jump to that wafer, but you can't. That's a chocolate bar. It looks kind of like a... Anyway, you, you no, can't it's jump a, to it, it's a as, I, as I've been demonstrating. It's a chocolate bar with, like, the tinfoil wrapper on it. Yeah, I, I see that now. I just got a little confused. There's okay. another crown that you can't see unless you, uh, move the camera. That, that crown is hungry for the... No, wait... What's actually happening is that is actually King Chocolate. King Chocolate? Yes. That that's crown why crown or No, that's what that's why that chocolate has a crown. Oh, okay. That okay. I because, get it. Because kings wear crowns. Well, not so... all kings wear crowns. And, and not all people that wear crowns are kings. Yeah, so what if it's a queen? What if it's queen chocolate? Don't be silly. Girls can't be chocolate. <laughs> No one would want to eat a girl. Oh, only See? only men are dumb enough to be eaten. Okay. <laughs> this is going to a weird place. <laughs> you, you, this you, video you is rapidly spiraling out of control. You, you managed to want to record this at a very weird time in my life, Major. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Well, I, I just... It's like, you know... I could record this. But yeah, um, aiming in this game is a nightmare. I just want to get that out of the way. But I discovered something. If you hold Z while you're, uh, if you hold Z, you will s stay in place. So for so, uh, so it for allows you to aim. Okay, that's actually smart. But like for everyone who says that like Banjo Kazooie is not a fun game, it's like think about all the stuff it did right that other Nintendo 64 platformers didn't. Like just I don't aim. think we should ever use Chameleon Twist as an example for anything ever. Wait, hold on. So we should not use it as an example of a bad game? We should... Uh, oh, we should oh. only use it as an example of a also, bad game. Also, orange and green is horrible. Yes, welcome to Chameleon Twist. Oh god, it's... Wait, that's a beam of light. You can pass right through it. Haha, <laughs> nope. That one you can't. See, this is my problem with this game. My, this my, is, one, my one That's problem. your one problem with this game. Yes, that's... Oh, there's another crown you can't see over there. <laughs> um, almost got no. Nope. This is a recurring theme in this level. I really like how you grabbed like the heart and said by mistake. Like, can you just imagine that in your everyday life, just trying to grab something and then you grab something else with your tongue? Oh, here's something else that's dumb. Uh, the same. Puzzle. Where do you think the crown in this room is? Um, you have to jump on there, and it's a platform that goes up. I'm going into space now. And then there's a seesaw. In the sky. Oh, that's awful. Oh, wait, I thought it was actually going to tilt. Oh, wait, it is. Oh, God. Yep. It's and... impossible to get both of the things on the seesaw at once because the seesaw doesn't actually have physics. It's <laughs> just that when you cross an invisible threshold on the seesaw, it will tilt one way or the other. I was about to ask you what happens if you fall off, but you kindly demonstrated. <laughs> yeah. This is a 100% run. <laughs> Whoa, so we're getting all the crowns finally? <laughs> Oh, poor naive tea. Yay, more chocolate and good job. I thought that was the one you could jump to, but it's not. Turns out there's none that you can jump to. Oh, oh wait, what? Yeah, it is. What? What? <laughs> oh, did I just blow your mind? Yes. You I can don't... even jump to the second one. Also, are those pegs inside um uh gift baskets or uh, yeah uh, gift boxes rather? Yeah, Who would do are. that? Like, hey, look, a present. Let me shove a piece of wood in it. Maybe this, maybe this gift box is a vampire. Fun fact: uh, I, in my practice run, I died in that room about ten times. There, I just did it flawlessly. Congrats. So go me. It's like I actually know how to play this video game. Yes, the, those little things kind of look like shiitake mushrooms, but like the way what? they have a giant head cap. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know why mushrooms would be in kids' land. Kids are supposed to eat shiitake, so they'll grow big and strong. I don't know if that's really a thing. 
I, I have no idea. I mean, mushrooms are good for you. As long as... Well, s Shiitake. All mushrooms are edible. So all, some mushrooms are only edible once. Shiitake is weird, though. It's very chewy. Or at least the, the kind I had today was chewy. I went to a Japanese restaurant today. Let me tell you about that. Fucking weeaboo. Because one of my friends was visiting from out of town. And so yes. we went... And I had takoyaki for the first time. I actually liked the octopus part, but I didn't like the, like, sauce part. You heard it here first, folks. I, I ate some octopus, ladies. Ladies. Yes, yeah, it was very, very chewy. Like, like, really chewy. Yeah. Well, it's octopus, so I'm not sure what you expected. I don't know. I don't know what I expected either. Oh, look at all those Oreo motherfuckers. I killed five of them, because why not? Just that's like just that's what you do with with actual Oreos. You just shove five in your mouth and you're good to go. Yeah, I mean, I have some Oreos I could demonstrate. I don't like Oreos. How does it feel to be terrible, T? I mean, it's like okay, like a delicious amount of like creamy sugar garbage, and then uh, two pieces of chalk surrounding it. Are you sure you didn't accidentally buy like uh, Hydrox or something? Um, yes, I actually bought hydrogen peroxide and he was dipping that in milk. No, Hydrox was the original sandwich cookie. Oh, okay. I do like, like, the vanilla Oreos or, like, the oops, whatever Anyway, Oreos. the, um, the room before this one had three crowns in it, but it was one of those dumb platform mazes that sucked, so I didn't get them. This room is the worst room in the game. Your, your, audio, your audio just cut out for me, so I don't know what you said, but that's okay. You were talking about the game, so I don't care. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> this is the worst room in the game. Yeah. Um, it's absolutely a nightmare. On my pra I did two or three practice runs of this level, and combined, I probably lost several dozen lives on this room. Luckily, if you get a game over, it starts you back at the beginning of the room with the same uh, amount of crowns. Good job. But the problem with this room is that it's it's really long. So wait. Um. So dying and getting a game over is both the same penalty. Yes. I mean, at Actually, least... get, getting a game over is better because it restores your health. Well, isn't the only way to take damage to, like... That's like, that. yeah, that's the same thing, because... Yeah. Or I guess it is slightly, okay, it is slightly different, because, like, falling down would be the same as gaming, game overing, basically. Yeah. Okay. Um... This, this room is actually really hard, but uh, I actually do it this time. It only takes me two tries. I, I would, there's a lot of waiting around in it. I would not eat uh, chocolate that a chameleon stepped on. Why not? Because it has, like, chameleon germs. It, it, it has uh, chamele cooties. Chamele cooties? Yeah. So when are we going to see SDO the Chameleon? Yeah, I have some bad news. Wait this for, isn't a Sonic the Hedgehog game. Wait for our Sonic the Fighters bonus video. <laughs> oh yeah, that, I <laughs> forgot we did that. I don't, I don't even know if we used SBO in it or not. It was uh, so long ago. So. Uh, also, now we're fighting a cake. Yeah, this is the boss for the level. It's a, it's a cake. Oh, I know. We have I, to I forgot to look up the name for it because I don't really care. You have to jump on it until all those flames are extinguished. No, sadly, this is a much worse game than Super Mario RPG. So you have to suplex the cake? I, I wish you could suplex the cake. No, what happens is that there's a bunch of guys in it controlling it, and you have to eat them out. Just like with every... Oh, wow. What? <laughs> okay. What? Yeah. You I... stunned me there. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I just tank a lot of the hits because this boss is dumb, but mercifully brief. Well, yeah, that's how most cakes work, it's just there's some guys in them controlling it. Yeah. Whoa, frame rate or slow motion? We'll never know. It, it was slow motion that time. Wait, was that a rocket strawberry? Yeah, that, that was what it was firing at me, was rocket strawberries. I don't think that's a real cake at all. Yeah? You think it might be a fake cake? <sighs> <laughs> Alright, see you next time where Major Monotone handles it on his own. <laughs> anyway, so we did Jungle Land, we did Ant Land, we did Bomb Land, we did Desert Castle, we did Kids Land. Wait. And next time, we're going to do the last level, Ghost Castle. Why are two of them castle, but the rest are land? Because fuck you, that's why. See you next time. Good night.